everybody and welcome to another sweaty video. It is currently 35-ish degrees here on the west coast of Vancouver Island. Um, it's supposed to feel like 40 degrees today, which is pretty hot. And I'm not really used to that. And for some reason, my house does not have AC. And unfortunately, it does have very high ceilings, like in the main living areas. So I had to purchase this portable AC unit. Um, and also I have like one, two, three, four, five fans in this room just for uh, Dante, Odie, and Muffin. So I've nicknamed this room the Oasis. They have a TV to watch Pitbulls and Proleys and all the Animal Planet shows while I do some errands today. And um, I did not realize that this shirt was so see-through. So we're gonna change that. We're gonna change that right now. Actually, you know what? We'll change it later. Let me just let me just finish my little spiel here. Glockenspiel. I have to go do a few errands right now um, while my pups sleep because I'm actually headed on a cruise with my parents and my little brother. We're going to Alaska for seven days. Um, so I have to go grab luggage because I unfortunately broke my zipper the last time that I went traveling, trying to cram like way too much in there. The luggage place where I'm gonna grab my luggage is actually right beside Toys R Us. So I thought it'd be fun to do a Toys R Us run, check out all the Jurassic stuff they have in stock because they always have so much more than Walmart. I really wanna get that Giganotosaurus, like the colossal one, as well as a colossal Atrociraptor, I think. Do they have, I think it's like a big white one, I believe, if they have it, yeah. So I think we're just gonna do a big Toys R Us run. And um, a big thank you to my Toys R Us liaison um, for allowing me, um, it gave me permission to film in that Toys R Us uh, without having to do like my cup cam or doing it like incognito, like a spy, um, because Toys R Us is actually very picky about people filming in their stores. They don't want like, you know, customers being filmed and employees and such. So they do have like some kind of strict rules there so i actually do have permission to film there which is nice so i think i have to just go like connect with the manager be like hey i'm gonna film toys not kids look at that big and nosy you got a very big and nosy huh <laughs> funny. Oh, these are not allowed in Toys R Us. You're not a service dog. You're a disservice dog. You're very, very bad. Okay, okay, okay. So I'm just going to do my hair a little bit and then I'm going to obviously change my shirt because I'm not going out like this. Um, and yeah, and I will see you guys in the car. I'll park the car in my yard. Oh my God, I'm so bad. I'm so sorry. Oh no, no. I have nothing to wear. Oh, I'll wear this. Switched it for a dress instead. Ooh, outfit of the day. This is what I'm wearing. Look at it. I still have to shave my legs. And oh my God, I'm getting thigh rash already just by moving around like this. Maybe I need to put on some shorts underneath because this is actually kind of rubbing a lot. Okay, too much information. Muffin, give me some shorts. Go pee. I gotta go. I'm melting out here. Come on. Come on. Yes. I O D. Do you want me to throw that O D? Oh, yeah. You want me to throw it O D? Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> Gonna get it? Get it, O D. <laughs> oh, okay, let's crank that AC. <sighs> cool. I did my hair, and it's like already messed up and frizzy and all humid. Nice. I unfortunately had a ice cap from Tim Hortons with a shot of espresso in it. I hate coffee, but that's the only thing I can have with caffeine in it because everything else tastes like cigarette butts and grossness. Uh, but the downside to that is that I'm probably gonna have to go to the bathroom at least 10 times. It's not like, oh, I have to go to the bathroom. It's like, I have to go to the bathroom now. So it's already happened to me like two times today already. So hopefully it won't happen while I'm in Joy's Raz. I'm like, I have to go now. Okay, we got here in one piece. Let me just put my chair back. This is very uncomfortable. Ugh. So it's currently, what does it say on my dashboard? It's 32 degrees outside, but it feels, I think, like 39, 40 right now. Um, so in the comments down below right now, I'd like to know if you can beat my 40 degrees Celsius. Um, obviously, I don't know if that is in Fahrenheit. One sec, let me see. Ah, so it's 104 degrees Fahrenheit. So can you beat my 104 degrees Fahrenheit? I know so many of you are gonna laugh at that. Be like, oh, 40 degrees. I mean, 104 degrees Fahrenheit, that's nothing. But like to me, this is so freaking hot. Who's watching this right now and has the hottest temperature? I wanna know. I'm gonna try to just quickly uh, just say hi to the manager and just let her know that I'm not, you know, filming little kids butts or something like that. I'm just there to film toys. Okay, let's go. Cause by the time I stop talking, Toys R Us is probably gonna be closed. <laughs> Okay, so we are in. Thank you, awesome manager, for making contact with me. And I'm trying not to film any customers or 
staff members. Jurassic section. Oh, I'm so excited. So I haven't been here for a very, I should have brought a buggy with me, shouldn't I have? Um, you know what? I'll look first, I'll see what they got, and then I'll grab a buggy if, if need be, okay? Here is the Jurassic World section. And we'll go buy it all piece by piece. So, we have the Tyrannosaurus Escape Pack for $84.99. Remember, all these values are Canadian because obviously I'm in Canada. Looks like we got a lot of these in. Um, I saw some of the US stores had like the old Lost World like um, compound, you know, like that van. Ah, too bad they don't have that and I don't see that anywhere. $21.99, let me know how your prices are. Let me know if like my prices are much, much more expensive than yours or if I'm actually getting a deal here. So this is what we got here and it looks like you got little different dinosaurs in each one. You get four dinosaurs and one person. Oh, it's like a mystery person who's driving. So it looks like that's that. Oh, what's that? You can get like a plane. Why would you want this? Why would you, you obviously you want like dinosaurs? Oh, here you get three dinosaurs, a plane, and a person. I thought you got like just one plane and one person. I'm like, who would want that? <laughs> okay, so let me put these back because I'm not a monster. These guys just look so weird to me. They look like little frogs that like during their you know metamorphosis phase just like didn't didn't develop properly so i'm not a big fan of like you know their necks and their looks but there's these guys here they're called click tracker atrociraptors and there's this guy and this guy for 30 bucks i think that's quite expensive <gasps> look at these little guys are these like the snap squads no they're called pop-ups so you go like that my hand's shaky so you like so it'll like just randomly pop up. So I think you go like this and it'll just like pop up like a spring or something. That's cute. Not $7.99 cute, but that's cute. Amber, wow. I saw this guy, I think on clearance the last time I was here. I think he was like $16.99 or something. But yeah, this guy's pretty expensive right now. Thrash and Devour. Thrash and Devour. This is a pretty cool looking one. I really like the paint job on it, but for $75, I don't think so. I don't think I have this one yet. Wait, do I? I don't know. I have so many things that I pick up. That's hard to remember sometimes. Um, and then we also have the Extreme Chomp and Spinosaurus still from the Camp Cretaceous line. So here's that Spino. I remember everyone was trying to get this guy at one point. Here's the Apatosaurus. Lots of Apatosaurus in. This guy is currently $99.99 here. Capture in Crush Truck. Man, with all these ends, it's like Thrash and Devour. Capture and Crush, like Cap and Crunch, you know what I'm saying? A lot of these things. I'm not like super into vehicles. Um, obviously I love, you know, like, like that Lost World um, compound vehicle that they have, but apart from that, I don't feel like anything's super iconic except for, you know, the original Jeep, Ford Explorer, and the um, the compound vehicle. Um, release in Rampage, what's this? What's this like obsession with like the ends? Like release in Rampage slash in like there's i'm surprised they didn't call this t-rex in the skate pack you know um then we got the therizinosaurus which i picked up at walmart this guy's pretty cool i think it would be really cool if his eyes were kind of like that glazed over kind of you know blue color like he's kind of blind i think that would have just made a little more interest to the to the um to the toy because i don't know i think in the movie he was blind i'm not too sure but if he was, that's cool. If he wasn't, well, maybe they should have done it because it's a pretty cool concept of like a blind dinosaur. Scorpio Ventator. Whoa, didn't expect you back there. I'm definitely getting this because I'm a very, very big fan of the Hammond collection. I think they're doing, a, this is like what I originally wanted. I wanted like all these figures to essentially be like the Hammond collection. Um, so let me see what they have. This is $36, is it? Is it Jurassic World mid-sized adult, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if that's the right price, but that's an okay price for me. So let's see, so they have the Baryonyx. Let me move this around. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna hide this guy right here because I'm coming back with a buggy and I'm just gonna grab it. So I got that, got the Baryonyx, another Parasaurolophus, another Baryonyx. The Barry is very cool looking, but I think I have like a lot of Baryonyx. I have like the Baryonyx Lava, Lava playset. I think I have like four of those, and I have like one or two of these Baryonyx. Plus, I bejeweled the Baryonyx like with a bunch of crystals. 
Um, but the parasol office, I really like the paint details on this. And parasol office used to be like my favorite dinosaur, so I have to get it, so. I can't believe it's not called Zoom In Riders, right? So you got this guy. When I mean this guy, I mean the T-Rex. T-Rex. T-Rex, weren't these guys like um, just single out of packaging at one point? And it was like the Triceratops, the Mosasaurus, this guy, and I think one more if I'm not mistaken. I think someone sent me like the entire set of these and I also remember seeing these here, but maybe it's different packaging. Then we also have this guy, which is kind of creepy with the bulgy eyes. Oh, I didn't know it did that. <laughs> That's kind of cute for kids. Carnotaurus, wild chomping, wild chomping. Um, what else do we got here? Ooh, uncaged. It should say ultimate in uncaged. $99, what does this do? modes wild mode training mode and play mode oh so is it like is it like a more affordable blue remember where they have like you could train blue to do stuff it's got 50 sounds i guess that's that's pretty cute it's the colossal t-rex but it's a different paint scheme than like the original colossal oh man that is that's gonna be a tough decision for me because i actually really like the paint job on this the super colossal the first one just had that you know kind of average paint job that was not really the greatest but i don't think i need two super colossals oh that's pretty cool but i could see these going on sale maybe in the future so i'm gonna hold off on this guy i'm gonna hold off on this guy and let me just see how much he is just so i have a point of reference he's 120 dollars canadian okay you get the super colossal um carnotaurus but i already have this guy so i'll pass on him and we also have the legacy whoa kitchen encounter pack okay i'm getting this i'm getting this that is really cool i love the scene in there and we got lex there finally that's awesome oh i like that a lot i love things that are like a scene you know like this is a scene that's pretty cool and it looks really nice on a display because when you're walking by you're like you can see everything nicely displayed all the accessories and everything's posed great so i love packaging like this so much so i definitely will get this kitchen um scene so let me just get a good pack Please don't tell anybody about my secret stash right there. Because I will take everything. I'll take everything in the secret stash. Jeep Gladiators. Jeep and Gladiator. Where it's like the little remote control car. And you also have this guy here too. Okay. Not a super big fan of any of the vehicle things in, in Jurassic World. I didn't think anything was like that great. Um, so I'm gonna pass on the vehicle. I guess I got these guys. I'm guessing this is a Carnotaurus, I think. <laughs> Excuse me. Giganotosaurus. These are kind of unique because they have like kind of this vinyl-y texture on it for $13. Um, already got one of these. I think it's really cool how the eyebrows actually move like this. That's pretty sweet. It's a nice feature. Then we also have this guy. Whoa, for $52, oh my God that eye got triceratops got that guy again that scorpio blah, 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 for 29 i said 29 i tried to say 30 and 29 at the same time isla sort of capture pack oh yes 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 with roland tembo okay oh that's kind of cool like i love i love roland tembo so much this car is pretty cool because i love how you know it can the side can go out like it did in the movie I'm gonna I'm gonna put a hold on that for now. It's fifty it's five dollars, so I'm just gonna take a little take a little holdy on that. I do have I think one or two of these packs already. I think so, yeah. It looks like the packaging is a little different to me. I feel like this is different packaging than what I got. Wasn't like it closed? Didn't it have didn't it have like a closed window on it or no? Or am I just making things up? Jurassic World mini playset. I've never seen these before. Wait, are these like Polly Pockets? Oh no, they're just like mini legit little play sets but not like Polly Pockets. Could you imagine if they actually had Polly Pocket um, uh, Jurassic World toys? I think that would actually be really cool. So it looks like they just have Mosasaurus and then they have this thing, this Giganotosaurus Rampage playset. So it looks like that is the majority of the Jurassic section there. I think there's some a little bit in the other aisles and such. Um, oh, there's also this guy. 
Is this a Indoraptor? Oh, here it is. Yeah, Indoraptor, Carnotaurus, Triceratops, Blue, T-Rex. Oh, the Pyroraptor one looks really cool. An Ankylosaurus. Oh, there they are. Ankylosaurus, Carnotaurus, $9.99. Ankylo. Oh, that's cute. That's cool. And then they got all these little eggies where you can just grab the eggs. Can you find a metallic dinosaur? Whoa, I found one. And I think there is one more little Jurassic area and I'll take you guys to it. Um, please remind me, please remind me to grab my stuff when I come back because I'll probably forget. Um, let's see, one second. Do, do, do. Oh, here we go. Here's some more on the aisle. Oh, it's the new Mosasaurus. Kind of the new painted Mosasaurus with like extra speckles and it's just more dark and stuff. Um, here's the Stomp in Escape. I really want to go, I really want to go to like the, the meetings, like the, where they're doing like all the names and stuff. It's like, okay, we need an N. There needs to be an N, apostrophe N somewhere. Mosasaurus, Raja, Rajasaurus, Ankylosaurus, different paint thing, and then paint scheme. More of these guys. Quetzalcoatlus, Yangchu, Yangchua, Yang Yangsaurus. I'm just going to like nickname all these of how I think they're pronounced. Scopo, Scoposaurus. Okay. Hello. Hello. Here we have a little Jurassic World, little kiosk thing here. So it's all the thrash in devourers. This is really cute. Got these tiny little Moros Interpedioses. <laughs> um, and then we also have these shirts here too that I don't think are gonna fit me, but let's see what the extra large is. So here's an extra large, one second. So here's the extra large. I uh, don't think that will fit me, but it's pretty cute. And then they also have this one as well. And they have Epic Battle. And then they just have like a Dominion one with just the logo on it, which is pretty cool. And these guys are all $12.99 each. And got more of those Tembos. And got more of these guys over here as well. And got more of the, oh, there's a lot of these guys. So let's go back to the toy aisle and let us see some of the other toys. Okay, I'm gonna just go through the aisles and if anything's cool, I'm gonna zoom in on it. So that's pretty cool, that spider thing. That's pretty cool. Is this an actual remote control? Cause that's pretty sweet. That's huge. Oh, here's all those giant monster truck things. Piranha Jeep with these like giant treads, um, like a tank. Okay, color reveal, color reveal Hot Wheels. Biopod, what's a biopod? Biopod, are these squishy? No, they are actually hard. You get a di duo pack exclusive, what's inside, fun to build, glow in the dark. Minions things. Um, do, 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 from the Rise of Gru. I'm actually really excited to see. All these are already 40% off already. Didn't the movie like just come out in theaters like a week ago? Um, yeah, I'm hoping to see that soon. It looks pretty cute. Here's a big pack. I have Gru and he's Minions. Way more Buzz Lightyear stuff now. So we got this Buzz. We got this one and this one. We have a Zerg arm blaster, this vehicle thing. I'm wondering how successful this toy line is going to be. Like, is anyone going to want this person? I don't know. Is anyone going to want the security guard? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And I'm just like, I'm not a big fan of like the Zerg. The cake to Zerg looks so much better, but you know, this might be like, I don't know, a precursor to like the Toy Story movies, like how, you know, like the legend of Buzz Lightyear and stuff. So, hello, banana. See what's around here, more Buzz stuff. More Buzz looking weird, kind of like he's naked and afraid because he doesn't look like himself. Oh, and here's all the Star Wars stuff. So see this. So here we got some Star Wars, some Mandalorian. 
Oh, look at these. These are so cute. <laughs> are these little banks? Of course they're banks because banks, like I said, banks and hand puppets are always so well sculpted and so well painted and they just look, oh, they look so great. I actually really like these. If, they, if this was like 90, 99, I'd get it. Nine dot nine nine, not $999. <laughs> these are really cute. I like those a lot. Um, got more of these little guys. Got lots and lots of baby Yodas, little baby Grogu's with no parents. So if anyone's looking to adopt a baby Yoda, there's lots here at the Nanaimo Toys R Us. Whoa, this one looks like really realistic. <laughs> look at look at this one compared to like, actually that one looks pretty realistic too. <laughs> but this one especially, it has like a lot of kind of like detail that makes them look a little scary. <gasps> oh, so cute. I see you. Oh, wait, that's Avatar. Never mind. So we got these guys. There are a lot of Grokus here that need good parents, guys. I know he looks like Benjamin Button, but it's a face that everyone should love. Dracula Transformers still. Oh, so we are in Transformers land now. I've taken you into Transformers land. Um, we got this guy. We got that, I was gonna say walrus. <laughs> we got that uh, rhinoceros guy again. He's up here too for $54. Dollars. For sand dollars. Wait, are you telling me that this little guy is $40? There's gotta be more to him, right? Okay, at least he has some more things, right? <laughs> that's a lot. Transformers are very expensive. That, I feel really bad for Transformers collectors because there's a lot of Transformers, a lot of different designs and series and stuff, but they are just, they are very expensive. So those guys, these guys, Buzzworthy Bumblebee. We got this big guy for $90. We just got this fun package. Look at that fun package. That's fun for $90. And I got this guy. And then, is this guy the same guy? Uh, yeah, the same guy. And then this guy. And then we come to the wrestlers. It'd be really cool if they brought back like all the, uh, like all the older wrestlers, like Papa Shango and like, you know, all those guys. Do, do, do. These are all 30 bucks, 30 bazooks. You were either like, you're either like a manly man or a pretty boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, look, like, like pretty boy. Okay, that's pretty cool. Like I like guys like that, like where you're all masked and stuff. So it's like, Pretty boy, pretty boy, pretty boy, manly man. So you look like a lumberjack or a model. So it's like model, lumberjack. Model, lumberjack. Ooh, cool guy. That's pretty cool. What's your name? Evil Uno. Evil Uno. Lumberjack slash pretty boy. Then you have like a combination of the both. Is this supposed to be the rock? Oh uh, yeah, it kind of does look like it pretty funny <laughs> like something's off but I don't know what it is is it just like your whole body proportion how like you have no neck or I don't know I don't know <laughs> and this guy too I think it's I think it's just like the fact that they have like very lacking in the neck department that's cool they're like stretchy oh they're called bend and bash bend in bash they're getting they're getting some tips from the Jurassic um, from the Jurassic line oh the rock Versus mankind. Where's the socko? Rock and sock. Socko. Charlotte Flair. I did a like stripper name generator so long ago. And like, it's my favorite name ever. That if I ever became like a wrestler, that'd be my name. So it was Charlemagne Duvet. So if you ever see Charlemagne Duvet wrestling at a city near you, that's me. What are these guys? These guys are $34.99. Billy Gunn, Roddy Piper, AJ Styles, Nina Jax, a slambulance. That's funny. I like that. That's actually quite that's actually quite clever. And we got some of these. And we have like the cage. And we, oh sweet. Ow! I don't know why I flipped that. There we go. Why would I flick that? That like really hurt my nail. So here's all those smashers. 
We got Zuru Smashers Dino Island. Got lots of those. Got these stretchy, stretchy guys, the Gujitsus. That's pretty fun. Lots of different Gujitsus here. Got a lot of the alien variety as well. Does anyone have an original Stretch Armstrong? Always on the lookout for one of those. We got some double packs too. And some minis. Ooh, good you two minis. Those are fun. Got some more double packs versus for $42. That's a lot, man. Oh, that's a lot. Toys are getting so expensive. And we have a whole bunch of Space Jam left over over here. Welcome to the Space Jam. All right, we've got some spy gear in case any of you are interested in joining the FBI or CSIS, the CSIS program in Canada. Got all your spy needs here. What are these? Ghostbusters mini plush clearance, $4.98 regular, $8.49. I thought for a minute, I thought they were like those microbes. Hi, I'm a fire truck. Oh, is this like the point of view from the fire truck? It's probably like, I am severely underpaid and overworked. Oh, okay. It's just like nice stuff. Parangers has some pretty cool guys. Look at that. Paranti shed. Paranti. Paranti's head. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Paranti's head. <laughs> Who is that guy? Paranti's head. Um, who's this guy? Or girl? Andros? I don't know. Maybe they I don't identify. They look like a. It looks like a guy, but it kind of looks like a girl here. So I'm not gonna assume. I can assume anything. Um, ba -do -ba -do. Ba -do -ba -do. We still got that pumpkin head guy here. That is pretty cool. The pumpkin raper, pumpkin rapper, <laughs> pumpkin rapper. Does he actually rap? It's like, I am a pumpkin, pumpkin my head. I became a pumpkin after I was dead. Oh, oh, it's right here. We totally missed the He-Man section. We were so focused on the wrestling section that we didn't even look at this section. So let me quickly go through this. So it's a bunch of um, Marvel stuff. Um, do got like some adventures things. Got some more of those. I like how descriptive I am. Got some more of those, <laughs> and some of these, and a few of these. <laughs> I really relate to this guy. He just like gets me like I'm hungry all the time I'm always up for like a hot dog like on the campfire like this guy's good that's not a joke I legitimately mean that I really do like hot dogs they're so tasty um so here's all the GI Joe things there's this giant big pack it looks like they're $39 each got a bunch of characters in there oh well, look at that look at this gator guy croc master and Fiona Ooh, so I'm guessing that's the croc master and that's Fiona um Got some more G.I. Joes. G.I. Lady, her name is Baroness. Got some more Baroness with Cobra Coil. Cobra Coiler? <laughs> the Cobra Coil. <laughs> the Cobra Coiler. So here, oh, Battle Cat is on clearance for 38, 38 uh, Canadian. And we got some other Battle Cats here from the Masters of the Universe uh, Netflix series. They're on for $34. And this is a very comprehensive, this is a very comprehensive uh, Toys R Us tour. We like doing everything here, hey? Got some old Panthers here for $64. Wow, look, $64.99, $38.38. Wow, that's a good deal. Got some other He-Mans here. Um, got Stratos. Got uh, that... Battle Armor Skeletor, which looks like an alien to me. Not a huge fan of the look of that guy. Um, then we got He-Man. This glowy He-Man. We got some vehicles. Got some of those guys. Oh, interesting. I've never seen these things here before. Savage He-Man. Savage He-Man and Orko. Oh, I kind of like that. Oh man, I, I kind of like it. I, I kind of don't really care for Savage Human, but I really like the Orko. And then here's the Skelegod. I already have Skelegod. 
Um, but this one's pretty cool. King Grayskull. Oh, I like that. Wow. That's pretty cool. I love the I love the fur detail on his cape there. Oh shoot. Look at that. 59. Right? And that's 49. I mean, come on. Come on. It'd be like $49 as well, okay? Or at least be like $35 so I can so I can buy you. I might I might I might have to get that. I might have to get that. Some more of the old Masters Universe stuff that they had here. Uh, Stridor, also have Land Shark. Also got Skeletor, looks like a bunch of Skeletors. And we also got this Chaos Snake Attack playset. Millennium Falcon for um, 180. Got Infinity War. Got some Harry Potts. Harry Potters. Um, the Ma Ministry of Magic for 135. We got 170 for the Hogwarts Chamber of Secrets. More Hogwarts. Hogwarts. If you didn't know what Hogwarts was, like in context to Harry Potter, you'd probably think it was like a genital like disease. Hogwarts. Um, got the train. That's cute. The Thestrals. Big res resurgence of Harry Potter things. <laughs> What's that? Oh, I thought that was a police car. I thought that was like a trailer and a police car. And it's like, are they illegally camping? I'm like, that'd be an awkward scenario. What an awkward Lego, Lego, what an awkward Lego set. Oh, we got Battle Cat here. It used to be 50 on for 40. Battle Cat. Oh no, I kind of have to go to the bathroom. I kind of got to go to the bathroom. I'm not going to think about it, but I do kind of have to go. It's not necessarily an emergency, but it could turn into one very shortly. <laughs> so let's try to hurry it up here. <laughs> Do, 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 do. No, I'm not filming kids. I'm just filming all the merchandise. Okay, let's head to that little kind of collector area. Uh, beep, 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 beep. So, we got these guys. is a great video for anyone that has to travel to Toys R Us and doesn't want to travel all the way up here and they know what's at my Toys R Us already. Look at all these little tiny arcades. Well, I didn't like those, not these. These are not tiny arcades. They just like hold your stuff. Oh. Griff Tannen. Ah, that's pretty cool. Oh, it's Fugitoid. That's like this cool cartoon version. So I guess this is like, you know, like an original. This is so weird. You like never really see NECA stuff here. So I'm quite shocked. Oh, the Legend of Vox Machina. Oh my gosh. I actually really like this series. Do they have anyone else? They got Percy. Oh, oh, sweet. They got Vex. Who else do they have? Who else do they have? Who else do they have? Oh, they just have Percy and Vex. Oh, man. That's actually a really good series. So I definitely recommend it. It was, it was quite funny, and I, I enjoyed it. What is this? Whoa. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Muckman and Joey Eyeball in, like glowy glowy toxic form that's pretty cool how much is that 54 bones oh man that's kind of expensive just troubles a foot so i guess just some foot foot clan guys yeah <laughs> this is like he looks like a rabbit <laughs> the mighty metal head cool man they got a lot of ninja turtle stuff here a lot of ninja turtles. Ninja Turtle Madness, Bebop and Rocksteady. Cool. There's so many different lines of Ninja Turtles toys. I, I like, it's hard for me to keep up. It's like, oh, this line and the special line and like this Ultimus line and the cartoon line and this. Oh, that's a really cool pack. Look at that, I just got all the turtles in here. How much is he at? 
248 bones. 248 bones for that, wow. Got the Cobra Kai packs. Got Donnie, Leonardo, Leonardo, Raphael, Michelangelo. Godzilla vs. Kong still going strong, still trying to pump out. Still trying to pump that out. <gasps> Chernabog. Oh my gosh. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And for, for ten, that'd be $10 cool for me, but not $19 cool. Who else do we have? Zombie Captain America, Lucky from Lucky Charms, Mighty Mouse, Roboto, Barrel, Snout Spout. Ah, I like that. I like that a lot. But I'm not like a huge fan of his head sculpt. Nightwolf. Whoa. Ah, uh, it doesn't really like look like he used to look like. It's like a newer version of Nightwolf. My sister, her character was always Nightwolf, and she would always be so cheap and just do like the axe and the and the uh, bow and arrow every single time. She's so cheap. And my brother's so cheap too. He'd always be Sub Zero, and like I would never even be able to get up because he just freeze me and like kick me once. We got these droids figures making a comeback. These things are so, so expensive and such holy grail items, like the original ones from the Star Wars droids line. But it's pretty cool how they're, you know, making a comeback. And they also come with their uh, little coin. Some more Star Wars. DC Multiverse for days. Okay. Here you guys go. Looks like they all range between $26.99 and $32.99. Got the bottom of uh, King Shark there. Look at this one, Black Adam. The Joker. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, the Joker Dragon. This is so cool. That is legitimately scary. I like that. I love like weird things, you know, like weird, scary-ish, not, not like too scary, but like just weird, unique and odd things. So that's pretty cool. I might have to get the Joker dragon. What's the bottom of it? What does the bottom of it look like? It's like just a bunch of like claws. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I might, I might have to get that. I might have to get that. Um, what else do we got here? Um, somebody told me that there was supposed to be like a separate King Shark that you could buy by itself, but I'm not seeing that. Okay, I gotta remember. I gotta remember this Joker Dragon, because that's cool. Ah, oh, the Joker Titan. Oh, Joker stuff is just so cool. Like the Penguin used to be my favorite. Like after Danny DeVito's performance, I just absolutely love the Penguin, but Slowly, I think the Joker is making a comeback as my number one favorite um, Batman villain. He's just so eerie and insane. I love it. Clayface. That's what I feel like when I put all my makeup on. I just feel like a cakey Clayface. And we have a bunch of these little minis. G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe. This is for all the G.I. Joe fans because you guys know I am not a G.I. Joe person. G.I. Joe. Look at all these sailors. Oh, look, Xena. Gabriel. G.I. Joe. Transformers. And Power Rangers. And Ninja Turtles. And the Mole People. And there's also all of these scary things. And from the It movie. And oh my god, the Hunchback of the Notre Dame. <laughs> and we got the creature from the Black Lagoon. And a bunch of these little guys. Man, Toys R Us is stocked. Oh man, I'm, not, I'm like actually getting tired like filming all these things. Like there's there's definitely much more merchandise that they've gotten since the last time I was here. So we've got some Marvel Legends here. Eternals, man, those uh, DC Multiverse figures are definitely much more interessante than these guys. Scoot to the side. 
Okay, so I think we are done looking at all these things. I'm sorry, the last little bit there, I was just like, Wah. What are these pins, pop pins? Pop, pop, pop. So I think that we are done here. Oh, 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 they have, oh, they have, look what they have, the Jurassic Park breakout scene in Lego. $129.94 here in Toys R Us, which I believe is like the same thing I paid, I think, but obviously you have to pay for a little bit of shipping and such. Um, so if there's anyone on Vancouver Island, this is where to get it. If you want to grab it, you don't want to pay for shipping and customs or whatever. So yeah, what else do they have here? A bunch of busts and stuff that have Venom, Carnage, Thanos, Hand, all that kind of good stuff. Okay. I think we are done here. Wow, this this Toys R Us was absolutely stocked full. Like, they had so many things. So I think it's time for me to take my thumbnail photo, which is not going to be fun because I hate taking photos of myself. So, yeah, let's do it. Let's go grab, let's go grab a buggy and let's pull our stuff in there. And then we'll take our thumbnail photo. Exciting information for anybody um, that is interested in Toys R Us, specifically my Nanaimo Toys R Us, and maybe even, you know, your Victoria Toys R Us or something. But as you can see here, they have a whole bunch of NECA items. And one of the lovely attendants here at Toys R Us um, said that they were getting a whole bunch of more NECA stuff. They have like horror NECA stuff. Um, they have Alien coming out, Aliens. They have Predator coming out, I think as well. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of NECA coming out. He's like, this is, this is gonna be all NECA stuff. And I think they're putting it like right over there where the plushies are, like Pokemon plushies. So if you're interested in getting your hands on some NECA stuff or seeing some new NECA things, definitely, excuse me. If you're interested in checking out some new NECA things, um, give Toys R Us a check out. Take my glasses off. Let's get the hair all sexy because we're doing toys. It's like, oh, toys, sexy. Sexy toys. If any of this falls, I might not be able to come back to this Toys R Us. <laughs> so let's see if this photo, let's see if this photo can do us some justice. I feel like one of those photos is okay for the thumbnail. If not, I'm just gonna like Photoshop Jeffrey's draft face on my face. <laughs> Here's all the toys that I purchased. And here is my new luggage which looks really, really pretty. Unfortunately, it's probably gonna get banged up a lot, but this is a really, really good one. So, and it was actually on sale for 30% off. I think it's time for some Wendy's because I feel like this girl deserves it because that was a lot of squatting and crunching down and dippy doughing all over the aisles and stuff. I think I was there for like over an hour filming. So, and then I'm really happy I got that luggage. So I'm gonna have to maybe start packing um, when I get home. Do you believe in life after life? It's my share impression. I can feel something about me, sorry. It kind of sounds more like a Muppet. <laughs> Everyone's always like, Laura, what's your secret to skating so out of shape? And it's like, it's fast food. Uh, get back, 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 you hungry, hungry beast. Get back, get back, get back, get back. One for Donto for being so good and one for Odie for being so good. Yes, good boys, very good boys. Oh yes. Okay, where's the remote? Oh no, it's all the way up there. Uh. Okay, so what should I watch? I got America's Got Talent, I got 90 Day Fiance, Seeking Sister Wives, and I think I also have Silence of the Lambs recorded somewhere here. Um, I know those are very weird choices. It's like, we should we watch The Little Mermaid or Insidious? They're like completely different. Um, I think I'm gonna go with finishing off America's Got Talent. America's Got Talent. Okay, OD being such a good boy, you can have one more french fry. And Dante, you're such a good boy, there you go. Okay, no more french fries for the boys. How's Muffin enjoying the Oasis? Muffin? Nice and cool in here? Oh, it is nice and cool here. I mm, hope you boys are doing good in here. Here are all the items that I ended up getting. I got the um, King Grayscale, Grayscale, King Grayscale from the Masters of the Universe Revelation from the Netflix series. I just absolutely love that cape of his and I think he looks really cool. Um, I got this DC Multiverse, um, the Joker Dragon, which looks so cool and weird. So I'm really looking forward to opening that guy up. 
also got this amazing uh, scene here from Jurassic World Legacy Collection of um, the kitchen encounter scene. We got Lex and Tim there. Took a chance on this um, Hammond Collection Parasaurolophus. I think it looks really good. It's quite heavy. Um, so I'm really looking forward to checking this guy out. Don't know if I'm going to take him out of the package or not because he looks pretty cool like that. And I like the sleek packaging that it's in, but we'll see. We'll see. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to put out another video before my trip um, because I am leaving in a few days. So so I might not be posting for a week. I might do like a little travel vlog or something on the cruise ship um, as I go to Alaska with my family, but I don't know, I might just be like, you know, enjoying it, not worrying about, you know, photoing all the food that I'm eating and, you know, vlogging and blogging about this and that, but so we'll see. Um, but I'll definitely keep some of you guys updated and um, I think it'll be really fun. I'm looking forward to having a little vacay. So in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching this video and please let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was that I got. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and remember to stay legendary.